because guess what, y'all? It's Vlogmas. What's up? So y'all, I'm in line to take a COVID-19 test. <sighs> I was really out outside this weekend and I was down bed on Sunday. Um, I really think I had alcohol poisoning. I had not felt like that ever before except for when I had food poisoning. So it's been a few days. It was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Um... <clears throat> don't have any loss of smell or sense uh, like i'm like i can smell i can taste all that good stuff um don't have any fever chills anything like that i don't have any of the symptoms um didn't even really have diarrhea that's tmi but like looking at the symptoms i really didn't have anything everything was really like stomach issues like i couldn't keep food down couldn't keep water down and that's how i was when i had like the norovirus which is like a uh, food poisoning so i'm just always sure because i might be around people i might be around my mother i always want to be cautious when i do things especially now living by myself and then going to being around like someone older so that's why i'm getting this done and then my stomach has still been a little you know, I don't know if y'all ever been sick on the stomach before, but you really be taking it light. Like, I really am just, like, easy with food. Sugars, I can't do. But I really think this is God giving my body a reset. Like, I don't want to drink anymore. Like, I want to just be sober all around. Like, nothing. I don't want no sleep medication, nothing. I just want pure. At this point, I'm like, in my life, I just want pure. So, I've been just drinking a lot of water, a lot of Gatorade and stuff like that. So, I'm up next. There's somebody in front of me. And I'm going to just show y'all um, what's going on. And then we're going to go do some Christmas tree shopping. Because guess what, y'all? It's Vlogmas. What's up? <laughs> this is my first Vlogmas. I'm so excited. So, we're going to pray this test come back negative. And then, uh, if not, it ain't no if not. This test coming back negative. Um... But I'm going to go pick up my Christmas tree because we going to do some decorating, getting the holiday feels, holiday vibes, all that stuff. Hopefully, I got these little hot cocoa pops from TJ Maxx. Not TJ Maxx, from Trader Joe's. And I really want to have them. But like I said, like sugar kind of has been agitating my stomach. I just want to kind of do like a full cleanse. So hopefully by the weekend I can try that and we can really get the vibes going with the Christmas tree and everything. Because um, I love Christmas. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I'll be back when we take the test. All right. So, I take this home. So, for my safety, I use this to open the tube. So, I do not take any. in my nose for I think 15 seconds of each one. I hate this. So I was like, go up an inch. And she said, for my safety, take this, open this, okay, put it down like that, put this back in the bag, okay, all right, y'all, we done, Ooh, Jesus, I put my bag back in there with them. Ooh. All right, so we are headed out. Whew. That's over with. I think this is the one I want. It was another one. But we have some here. I mean, except for this. 
Okay, nice. I'm not a color light girl. Mixed needle pine, fold metal stand. If one light bulb burns out, others say lit. Flame retardant. Lights two years. This is the willow pine for me. Or I wanted this one. But I like white lights. I don't like color lights. Um, I'm get her. But let's keep looking. Wow. tree i'm gonna get this we're gonna do this one thing at a time and then we'll work on decor but right now i just need the tree because the tree could just be up with the lights so i said this was going to be the christmas decor um video so i have to finish doing that when i went to michael's yesterday to get the tree it just they won't give them what it was supposed to have gave so i might try one a different michael's we're gonna go a couple different places but my first stop is gonna be hobby lobby because i saw um chelsea janae said that they had stuff i totally forgot to get something to drink um but i'm about to go to starbucks i haven't i had coffee in a week y'all because i think i had alcohol poisoning we're not going to talk about that drink responsibly you guys because i really had not been outside pretty much the whole pandemic and i really had lost my mind so with that being said we're gonna go run to hobby lobby a couple other places you know who might have some cute christmas stuff because we on a budget we balling on a budget for christmas five below so we gonna go check out five below we're gonna go to hobby lobby and we're gonna go get a little breakfast and a little coffee and um yeah so let's go on and get this day started i took off today um, I was supposed to be in Atlanta. I was supposed to be in the A. But something said, keep my A in North Carolina. Because um, last weekend was quite an expense. On my body and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get started. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm just happy to kind of do this with y'all. And, like, catch a vibe, catch a break. All right? So, I'll see y'all in a few once we get to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> definitely go through when I get home and show y'all everything but it's just too many people in here right now so bear with me <sighs> y'all ever just sit in the car and just be thinking and just like sitting that's what I did so catch y'all up I went and had lunch with my mom at Nantucket I went to the dealership because I was going to trade in my car because they had been calling. But y'all, they ain't even got no options at the dealership. Like, how you want me to bring in my car and then want me to take less than what I got? I'm not going without this roof, okay? Um, They had a fully loaded car, like, um, a size above mine. But he talking about my payment probably be $600. I don't think so. So, we just going to keep Blanca my lease is up in 2023 let's uh this car is a 2022 so i've only had this car like a little over a year 
but I gotta get my tags changed, so that's gonna be a whole nother ordeal. Um, yeah. So I don't know if I'm gonna do the tree tonight, but this is the tree vlog. So <laughs> I might do it tomorrow. Courtney having a little function at her place for her birthday. So we just going to see what happens. So y'all may come, y'all may slide, y'all may not. Um, but I'm about to go upstairs now. I think I want to take a little nap. I got a little itis from lunch. Had crab dip, shrimp po' boy. Only ate like maybe a third of the shrimp po' boy. So I got that for later. And then me and my mom had split crab dip. And it was crab dip left. So that's in there because she didn't want to take it. So I got food for um later. And then I got to get the stuff out the trunk. I'm going to show y'all when we get upstairs what I got. But I think it's going to look good. If I have energy before now and tonight's little um, gathering, we might do the tree. Because the tree ain't going to take that long. You know what I'm saying? It's, what, three something now? We'll be fine. I might take a little nap and do still do it. So, I will see you all in a few. Probably after I take a little nap. What's up, you guys? I'm about to end the vlog. <laughs> I look throw away. So, I'm about to wrap this up. So, if you all saw my Sephora haul... Cool beans. Because guess what? I read up again. <laughs> I went and spent the block and bought a few more things before it ended. I'm really trying to tighten and firm. I'm really on a um, athletic journey, health journey. So I'm going to be in the gym and stuff. And I really want to make sure as I lose weight and tone up that I'm firming my skin. So I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. They had a lot of gift sets, but I really wanted what I wanted. And then I got the Bum Dia Bright Cream because like many of us <laughs> thicky thick girls, um, we have chafing in between our legs, leg like thighs rub together. Sometimes it gets dark. So I want to see if that works to help lighten it a little bit. I'm light too. So like, I feel like that definitely stands out a lot when my thighs rub together and create dark uh, areas. So I also got some unseen sunscreen. I really love this because it just feels so light. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't leave a residue. So I went and bought the big gruff. Um, also, I really wanted to try NARS concealers. And I got one for like when I want to brighten, which is the color ginger. And then I got one for when I want to conceal, which is the color biscuit. So I got the minis because I don't want to commit because I really like my Morphe concealer. But I just hear people rave so much about NARS. And I really want to see how it will be on my skin and how it will enhance or add to my beauty and my makeup routine. And then, you know, Sephora has 30% off their, um, their own brand. So I got some lip glosses because what girl doesn't need more lip glosses? And I got a really new one and I saw the pigment is really pigmented. So I'm excited about that. And then I got the um, Dior Attic Gloss. This was really a splurge because this is a $30 lip gloss. And I may take this back, but I really liked it. And it was really, really, really pretty one. I went in there for Jador, but this one I really, really loved more. And this is in the color... Dior So Light. And the one I liked was um, J'adore. So those are just a few things I picked up. Um, Y'all, they must have really been going hard because we just had this black bag. So I'm um, really excited about the Bum Bum Cream. You know, this is like an award-winning cream. One year they gave it out for birthdays and it was really good, but I wanted the big jar. And I've had the big jar before and used it up, but I just want to see... I'm just trying to perfect my skin and body regimen, so we're just going to see. Oh, and the lip gloss from Sephora is in Yes Honey. I love that. And then um, this is just called Boss. I love those glosses. They're beautiful. And I like applicators like that versus the squeeze. So my swatch, and I got 20% off all of this because I am a Sephora Rouge member. Yeah. So I am cooking dinner. I'm about to make some broccolini, macaroni and cheese, and chicken. The chicken is cooking. So I'm about to get, it's about 11, probably more like 15 minutes, but I just kind of cut it short just so I could see, because my oven gets pretty hot. Um, Do anybody else just get random stuff from their parents' house when they go? 
<laughs> like I got a half thing. I got like a half thing of oatmeal, some uh, crackers, some uh, club crackers, a can of pineapple juice and some tea and some silverware. And then I got some more shower rings for my guest bathroom because it was missing a few shower rings. So let me take that stuff out the bag. And then, um, yeah. So I'll show y'all what my dinner is looking like when I bring it out the oven. But I'm gonna cook because I'm so hungry. And y'all, I took a nap. And daylight savings has been whooping your girl's butt. I went to sleep and the sun was out and I woke up and it was pitch black in my room. I'm like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> right now I'm watching Gina Janine. So I'm gonna pretty finish watching her and like, um, do a little cook y'all let me know if y'all be interested in cooking vlogs now that i'm back in my kitchen i feel more comfortable cooking and i did that a lot in my um apartment in la or just in general when i was living by myself in la um so yeah so let me get on this broccolini and stuff so y'all can see what i whipped up i tried this marinated chicken and i'll tell y'all more about it when it's done um so i can show y'all but i'll tell you what's in it and everything and where i got it from so this is what my broccolini looks like. My broccolini always comes out super good when I broil it. And this is the balsamic chicken from Whole Foods. And this was like $3.80 and it was already marinated. So we are gonna do a little taste test. Um, waiting on the mat, but I just wanted to see like it baked and it looks good. So let me plate it and then we are gonna have a little taste test. Got my sparkling water. All right, we got the chicken real quick. Oh, y'all know Whole Foods real Caucasian, so we gonna, we gonna see how they, how they did this. Not spectacular. Just some seasoned baked chicken, but it tastes good. I didn't have to do no extra, so. I really trust my gut on this. Y'all know black people add more seasoning, but it looked pretty seasoned to me in the packaging. I don't think I showed y'all the original packaging because I was like, it's late. It's going to take 45 minutes to cook in the oven. So, put your alerts on. It's going to be fire. So, as always, smooches, and I'll catch y'all in my next video.